Good morning. The weather lied. It's supposed to be the warmest day this week. It says the high is in the 40s, but when I looked at like the temperatures across the day, it's not supposed to get past like 22. So now Jamesy and I are taking a quick stroll to Target. It feels good to be walking in our neighborhood again, even though it's really cold. He's all bundled up. Um, but the doctor is gonna see him at two today. So look at his little eye. Guy can't catch a break, despite it being cold. I do really wanna try like getting into our routine, getting outside regularly, getting fresh air. So welcome to the vlog. Oh, you just threw it. <laughs> Anything can be an instrument. Exactly. You're so good. So, Jamesy has a sty. That's what it is. Oh. It's not bad enough to need medicine. So we're just gonna do some warm compresses, wash it with some special shampoo, and hopefully this kid gets a break soon. <laughs> Officially gonna accept our lease renewal. Well, I think so. I can't find the document. You know, our property manager back to say we'll accept those terms. This is what corporate America looks like. <laughs> uh -huh. This is uh, Zoom ready, leisure wear. <laughs> living room couch <laughs> office. So if you didn't catch what Peter said, is that we are officially renewing a lease to live in this apartment another year. We need boring, we need not to move. We need yeah, to that's just- that's always been the plan. Yeah, that's, that's been our plan. And Jamesy has been really in this mode today. That's okay, right? <laughs> Mommy holds you all day long if you need me to. We're still living that Uber Eats life because we haven't gone to the grocery store yet. Embarrassed. I have a grocery list. <laughs> and we promised we go downtown, but for our mental health, we're staying home and being productive. And Kitchen, we groceries. We also promised that you'd run today. Yeah. Is that happening? I don't know. Well, We'll talk about that a little bit later, but this is just best for us today. He says, give me the lemonade. So we got native foods. We gotta turn down the climax of this movie. <laughs> so you can have a french fry to start. There you go. Um. We're very fortunate to have a lot of plant-based options near us. And so this is native food. Peter got, looks like some sort of chicken wrap. And again, it's all it's all plant-based. Jamesy got some tenders. I got lavender lemonade, which I'm very excited about. And I got a Nashville hot chicken sandwich. I tried out this dill potato salad. It looks very dilly. Oh yeah. Oh, he's, he's picking up the french fries. <laughs> I just want these french fries. You be careful, that little swiper. She'll come for you. 
No big deal, just lounging in my chair from Santa. He's on a frozen kick tonight. He's watched all the shorts and now frozen too. Lessons from James Ryan Brookhart. How to work out your aggressions in life. Make a pile in your lap and flail. <laughs> work it out, baby. Get it! Well, well. Look who's moping in the kitchen. You okay, Eve? You just wanna be left alone? I think I just found my next tattoo. I've been wanting to get a, a, a running related tattoo. And I thought about one during Dopey Marathon, like challenge like while running it that I would get like 50K, 50 mile, 100K, 100 mile. Cause like that's the dream is like, I'm doing the 50 miler. I did the Daytona 50K. I'm doing another one in Squamish this year, but more importantly, I'm doing the 50 miler in Squamish, British Columbia later this year. And like the goal is to eventually knock out the 100K and a 100 miler official race. Um, but rather than that, I just found like a cool scientific -y one. It's a chemical bond structure of um, the one of the chemicals that is believed to have an effect on the runner's high, like related to it. Um, it's more like symbolic than like actual science because they don't, it, runner's high is different for everybody and caused by different things too. But I don't know, Sarah and I really like it. I'll get it like a, down my whole calf, like right calf probably. And it like continues my mostly, besides my Chicago tattoo, all my tattoos are just like simple black. And this would just be simple black lines and letters, so. <laughs> is it bright? Our evening of productivity, I think is going well. I'm about to do some dishes. Um, I think Sarah grabbed a couple of these recipes from this run fast, cook fast, eat slow, um, cookbook. We, there's three in this series. We have all three now. Very good. Very helpful for runners and people who exercise and just want to eat healthy. Um, but I got a cool ice tray for my birthday. And so I'm going to have a glass of this Basil Hayden bourbon with... One of these giant spherical ice cubes that I tried making. Just funny because Christina and Grant's fancy new fridge just makes these in the freezer portion. I was nervous at first, but look at that. That is a very nice, large, single ice cube to add in my bourbon. Yes. Okay, I just wanted to talk about this before I forgot. I mentioned earlier, um that just like for us mentally, it was better for us to stay home. One, we still had some unpacking to do. We've been able to kind of like do it gradually. Um, but you get to that point where like the clutter and just finishing up, like it just so, it'll make you feel so much better if you just finish it all. So that's kind of where we were. Um, also, you guys are, you know that I struggle with anxiety, um, especially with our children and going through infertility and all of that. My anxiety heightens during um, times of appointments and check-ins and such like that. So yesterday was our anatomy scan, which went great. And I do feel great about it, but it was just a heavier day leading up to that. Um, and then since James has been sick, I mean, he has had this, the stomach bug that he had for over a week. Just before that, he had COVID. And before that, he had a different stomach bug. I know that it's hard for anybody to see somebody that they love go through something difficult or be uncomfortable or um, just like witness witness that. Um, however, when it comes to me and my worries, I am somebody who goes worst case scenario. My mind has intrusive thoughts um, and it is something that I am working on, but it also is just the reality of my battle um, 
that is hard to uh, to focus on anything else or to move forward from because it is it's so overwhelming. I have started going to therapy. We we've mentioned it, but I haven't really talked about it, um, and it has been going great. The thing is, I we've had quite the year, and even leading up until that, going through infertility, the loss of both my parents, just like scraping the surface. When you start therapy, there's kind of a lot to unload at first to like let your therapist get to know you. Um, but our main focus is preparing me for the VBAC that we will be attempting with the birth of Teddy. Um, but also just in general, my anxiety and feeling confident and not letting it take over. And unfortunately, some days I'm just truly not in control. And today was just one of those days where the anxiety won. And actually, I don't... I don't like to say it like that. I I listened to my body today and I still did I still was able to make myself feel better in ways that I know worked, but I also allowed myself to rest. And so when James napped today, I also napped. Um I let my to-do list get much smaller. Um and so, as always, we're here to share our day and reality and normalize the hard stuff because just being a human is hard. Um, and so that is why we decided to just stay home. We like to say, like, we like to simplify. Like, it's... it's it actually, it actually reminded me when we were watching Frozen 2 earlier, the next right thing, like just getting your to-do list even down to just the next thing you have to do um, and accomplishing that, really simplifying those difficult tasks, especially when, um, I mean, I guess I never like wrapped that up about James was after he woke up yesterday and like his eye was red and swollen I was just like how is there one another thing that this poor little boy has to go through what's wrong in your mind you know starts to go to all different places and so taking him to the doctor and even finding out that it was something as simple as a sty and knowing that he doesn't even have to take medicine because it's it's not it's not severe enough for an oral antibiotic or even an ointment or drops. Just going to the doctor, like a task like that, just having one appointment sometimes really is all I can get done that day. And that's been the case since, I mean, our bigger appointments with going to a fertility clinic. Like sometimes that, like if I had an appointment, that was all I could do that day. That's all that I could mentally handle and that is okay. We had all of these expectations for our day that we shared with the vlog. And so when, when today became a day of rest and taking care of ourselves, it just felt important to me to share because it is such a, a, a piece of being human. Um, and you guys know we like, we keep it, we keep it real. So I'm here to say we have done the next right thing. We have made it through the day. I feel much better after after listening to myself and I I am so lucky that I can voice things to Peter and that he is such my partner in all aspects of my life and that um and that we can take these sorts of things on together. And so we take those on together with you too. So there is that. Um, James is asleep. And I think I'm just going to like tidy and feel like give tomorrow a nice fresh start. And that is the last thing that I will do today. Fun fact about Sarah and myself, but more so about Sarah. When we got back from Florida, 
since we left like the day after the New Year's Day. I don't know what you're talking about. And because we had COVID in the mix of Christmas, and Christmas was super weird, we forgot that Sarah got this like 20 pound blanket. It's 15 pounds. 15 pound blanket for yeah. Christmas. But it's hard because it's so heavy that it's like not like easily just throwable like the other ones. I like ones. that. I like that. So like you kind of have to like use it intentionally. Yeah, but when you do, it's very nice. It just knocks you I out. I just need like a place to keep it. I feel like if we put that on Eve, she would, all the bones in her body would snap. She's so tiny. She's not even 15 pounds. I know. Herself. She is with her hair this long, I think. 13, I think, like that. With hair that long, usually. Oh, she's a little girl. Show her. Oh. Oh. She heard Sarah just tried deceiving me by Eve, by having Eve on the vlog so she can sneak a Hershey's. We are... Tr I want to end being productive. I want to sit on the couch and watch nonsense TV or something. James is asleep and Sarah's thinking about editing... I need to get back on some sort of... Regiment? I just don't, when I want a regiment, do I want to wake up early? Maybe if I wake up early, you'll wake up early? Yeah. Peter went to bed. Good night. <laughs> it's good to be home. It is good to be home. <laughs> we watched some Queer Eye. I love Boss Baby. I love Jonathan Van Ness. He's getting his own Netflix I'm show, getting, just oh, like Boss Baby. A tattoo tomorrow. Mr. Impulse. I have to finish your other tattoo. That tattoo mm -hmm. that you're designing is the congratulatory tattoo. I said that this tattoo is <laughs> congratulatory. Yeah, I love the week. tattoo, and you know, like, I'm a designer, so like when I, when like, I'm kind of a little bit more, what would you say? Apprehensive. I don't want to say like I'm hard to please, but I'm just like, I have high standards. Yeah. And it, it, I do like it a lot. Yeah, so we're going to go tomorrow. <laughs> we're going to get it tomorrow. <laughs> it's good to be home. Tomorrow we're going to get it. It's good to be home. <laughs> it's good to be home tomorrow when we get this too. <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.